All the sacrifices of old, from the days of Adam to the atonement of Jesus Christ by blood, were in the similitude of and a reminder of the great sacrifice, and pointed forward to its fulfillment by Jesus upon the cross. Well, we're here to make an offering, so why don't you select a sheep? Um, how about this one? That's a female. So? Well, the sheep is a symbol of the Savior. So what should we be looking for knowing what you know about him? Uh, it needs to be male. Yes, and what else? It needs to be perfect. How can you tell what the perfect sheep looks like? Well, it needs to be whole without blemish or defect. That's a good choice. Oh, um, uh, could you pay him? It's your offering, Steve. You need to, you need to do it. you now to the tabernacle no Steve the Lord required animal sacrifice from the time of Adam up until the crucifixion of Christ you mean they always had animal sacrifice thing you need to do, Steve, is present the lamb to the priest. Then the lamb becomes a substitute for you. Why do I need a substitute? Well, there are certain things you can't do on your own. What did the Savior do for you that you couldn't do for yourself? He died for my sins. See, the atonement was something we couldn't do for ourselves. We needed a Savior who could act as a substitute for us. Why does the lamb have to die? He didn't do anything wrong. Neither did the Savior. Why is it that the only perfect individual who's ever lived upon this earth had to die? Why did he have to die? Only a perfect person like the Savior could offer himself as a perfect atonement. Only by relying upon his offering can we be perfected. He died to satisfy the demands of justice so he could extend mercy to us. And he did it willingly. his death and the shedding of his blood that we live. I understand.
I think I'm getting this. What does the bread and water mean to you personally, Steve? The bread reminds me of the Savior's body. I can be resurrected. He shed his blood for me, so my sins can be forgiven. Good. So what is your personal offering to the Lord when you partake of the sacrament? I guess by keeping his commandments and, and taking his name upon me and always remembering him. Good. That's an acceptable offering. I don't know about you, but it's pretty hard for me to always do what's right. I know what you mean. Uh, you won't be perfect. But if you offer a broken heart and a contrite spirit, the Lord will accept that offering, and you'll have full access to the atoning sacrifice of the Savior.